the objective of this course is to become an Excel modeler so that you can build a model on top of Excel and then effectively solve uh, these business problems. Although this uh, course is titled IOM, uh, Information and Operations Management, uh, we are going to deal with many problems from different functional areas, including uh, marketing, finance, accounting, and even entrepreneurship. Almost everybody uh, who wants to become a modeler. For instance, if you're a marketing manager, uh, you may have a situation uh, like this. You have this advertising budget, say uh, $2 million to spend for the next three months. And there are so many ways to spend this $2 million. Uh, you can use that money on TV, uh, prime time, radio, magazine, newspaper, etc. And then they have all different uh, you know, reach uh, and different demographics associated with them. So uh, what is the best way to allocate your $2 million? How much for TV? How much for prime time? How much for newspaper, magazine, etc.? Uh, so this is one instance of this optimization problem that we are going to do uh, using Excel. My past students love this idea of being able to use Excel and then solve actual business problems. And then once you get used to it, and uh, probably uh, by the middle of this uh, course, uh, by mid-semester, uh, most of them become very comfortable uh, using Excel uh, and then build a model and then solve this problem in finance, in marketing, and then in operations. I have many students uh, who told me that they are using the skill set that they acquired from this course so often. For instance, I have a graduate uh, who landed a job at Nestle in the supply chain uh, area, and he uses uh, the technique that we learn from this course uh, almost every day. And also, I have uh, other graduate recently who landed a job at Deloitte Consulting, and uh, she also uses optimization techniques and then simulation techniques that uh, you know, she learned from this course. One of the fun assignments that we did in the past uh, is NCAA basketball prediction. So we collect all this data, and then we simulate what is going to happen in the West, what is going to happen in the, in the East, and then eventually what happens to the championships. And we use the past data to predict who is going to win eventually, uh, who is going to win the national championship. And then uh, it's very interesting to see, uh, it is somewhat likely that our prediction is right. And we are going to also use the current data to predict current season's winner. And that was uh, one of the uh, fun assignments that we did in the past. And we are going to do it uh, in the current semester as well. 